welcome back to another wonderfully normal vlog. We are back on the north shore of Oahu. Uh, we're gonna do the things that you do here. We're gonna eat. We're gonna try. We're gonna try some new foods. Last time we were here, just over a year ago, we tried a few shrimp trucks. We tried some shave ice. We went to Haleva. We're gonna probably do the same things. We're just gonna try new things. We do always bring our snorkel gear with us when we're driving around uh, any of the islands, but I don't know if we're getting in the water today because the weather has been pretty rough. The swells, the, the waves are something else here on the North Shore, so much so that there's like surfing competition going on right now. Um, but we're here back at Shark's Cove because that's like a nice chill protected lagoon. Um, and then we're gonna go try some food, do some stuff. All right, let's go. About 15 minutes more up the road north uh, is Turtle Bay. Uh, it, they do have public beach access, so it's not that that area of the beach is not private in any way. So get yourself here, check it out. It's beautiful in this area. Beautiful, beautiful resort here. On our way back into Haleiwa to get lunch, we stopped at uh, Kulima Farms. A bunch of like private farms who have their produce and there's banana bread here. So we stopped in. Cynthia got some banana macadamia nut bread with chocolate chips at Chewy's Farm. And then we swung over to Virgil's Farm to get the fried banana lumpia. That was good. That's a good little snack right there. This lumpia is a must. They're a buck a piece. They're a good size, nice little snack. Grab a couple, grab a couple. Excellent snack on your way to get more food. We are back in Haleiwa. So just over a year ago, we were here. Um, we got to hang out with our friends, Peter and Kitcha from Ordinary Adventures. And we're on a, we're on a mission to eat some shrimp. Um, we tried big wave shrimp, which um, I said is the best shrimp I've ever had in my life. I literally had like an out of body experience with that shrimp. Uh, and then we crossed the street to have Jenny's. Um, that was fine. Not, not, not as good as Big Wave. Um, but I think the time has come that, uh, well, we got to try out Giovanni's, right? That's, that's like the truck. That's the truck on this island or in the North Shore uh, that everyone raves about. It's always a long line. We're gonna put it to the test. Oh, oh boy. Um, that is very, very, very good. <laughs> good suck, good suck on that. Jamie just gave me a look. He was shocked that I just said that, but that's how we judge the shrimp on this island is by its suck value. And that, my friends, is a good suck. An exceptional suck, actually. See, they got a barbecue chicken plate with some delicious looking barbecue, some rice, and a side salad with ranch. Oh, it's kind of like all Cynthia's favorite things some ranch dressing, some rice, some chicken. Jamie got the Kahlua sliders. They look very good. With some Hawaiian bread. That's my name today. Jaden got a. Uh, very common water. Some sort of coffee drink. Milk tea. Oh, he got some milk tea. I'm gonna spend the rest of my time 
falling in love with this shrimp. I'm doing something right now that I didn't do before. On this plate is a tremendous amount of butter. Like, it's almost soupy. That's how much butter and garlic there is on here. So after I do my initial uh, with the skin on, I'm peeling the skin off and then putting the shrimp to, uh, to lounge, to kind of hot tub it there in the butter before I eat it again. That way you're not taking, you know, you're not eating a bland shrimp. I think, I think it's, uh, it's gonna give me a better product here. This is, I am, I'm in shrimp heaven. This is delicious. As good as Big Wave. I think, I think what Kitcha said in that video was like, you never forget your first, you know, North Shore shrimp. So if this is the first time you're eating North Shore shrimp, it's gonna be the best you've ever had. My first just happened to be Big Wave. I think if I came here first, I would probably tell you the same thing I did over there, which is this is the best shrimp I've ever had. I get why this is so popular. Polyeva. One of the other places that most people swear by on the North Shore is Matsumoto's Shaved Shave Ice. Um, we went to Kaimana when we were here last, but everyone says it's like the one-two punch of Giovanni's and Matsumoto's. So since we've done Giovanni's, we gotta do Matsumoto's Shave Ice. Again, of all the Shave Ice we've had on all the islands, Ululani's is still my favorite, but we're gonna see. So we got a large tropical. The tropical is lily koi, guava, and mango syrup. We also, of course, added vanilla ice cream and condensed milk on top. Jamie got the same thing, just in a small size. Small, large. Does it really look that much larger? They don't look that much larger. What's the difference in price between the small and the large? Cents. Oh, 50 cents, so we got a little bit more. We got a little bit more, but I will say, for the amount that we've got here, mm -hmm. and for the ice cream and the four dollars, four bucks feels like it's a very, very good deal. It's good, but this tastes. The texture of it is like very basic shave ice snow cone. This doesn't give me the creamy vibes at all. They did just change the ice cube when they were making ours, but it's crunchy. Like this is crunchy ice, where Ululani's is like, none of that ice is crunchy. It's like very creamy and soft because of how fine it's shaved. This gives me like snow cone vibes. Um, it's still good, but I think Ululani still, still takes the cake on shave ice. Oh, another successful trip through the North Shore. You know, we saw some big waves. We swam under the sea with the fish. We ate what we wanted to eat and some more. What else can you ask for? And now we're enjoying yet another sound check here outside our room of the 
luau that'll be happening tonight. Another that that's been a really nice bonus that we've had staying in this room is being able to uh, watch the luau from our room. Um, but not gonna waste too much more time because this is our last night here. And while she's windy out there, she's also very warm and very sunny. So we're gonna change back into our swim stuff and head down to the pool and enjoy this last bit of heat, warmth, and enjoy that Lizzie River maybe three or four more times. Let's go. <laughs> 